the National Graves Association. The Irish Republican Felons Association. The Roddy McCauley Society. And I'd like to invite the families and all other wreath bearers to lay their wreaths where appropriate. When I listen to a lament played by the paper, the flags will be lowered and raised. Immediately after the lament, we'd be asking you to stay, just stay silent for one minute silence, during which period I'd ask you to remember all those who have given their lives in the cause of Irish freedom. And I call on Sheerna to read the 1916 proclamation. Hoblat yeah. Naharan, the professional government of the Irish Republic to the people of Ireland. Irish men and Irish women, in the name of God and of the dead generations from which she receives her old tradition of nationhood, Ireland through us summons her children to her flag and strikes for her freedom. Having organised and trained her manhood through her secret revolutionary organisation, the Irish Republican Brotherhood, and through her open military organisations, the Irish Volunteers and the Irish Citizen Army, having patiently perfected her discipline, having resolutely waited for the right moment to reveal itself, she now seizes that moment, and supported by her exiled children in America and by gallant allies in Europe, but relying in the first on her own strength, she strikes in full confidence of victory. We declare the right of the people of Ireland to the ownership of Ireland and to the unfettered control of Irish destinies to be sovereign and indefeasible. The long usurpation of that right by a foreign people and government has not extinguished the right, nor can it ever be extinguished, except by the destruction of the Irish people. In every generation, the Irish people have asserted their right to national freedom and sovereignty. Six times during the last 300 years, they have asserted it to arms. Standing on that fundamental right and again asserting it in arms in the face of the world, we hereby proclaim the Irish Republic as a sovereign, independent state, and we pledge our lives and the lives of our comrades in arms to the cause of its freedom, of its welfare, and of its exaltation amongst the nations. The Irish Republic is entitled to, and hereby claims, the allegiance of every Irish man and Irish woman. The Republic guarantees religious and civil liberty, equal rights and equal opportunities to all its citizens and declares its resolve to pursue the happiness and prosperity of the whole nation and all of its parts, cherishing all of the children of the nation equally and oblivious of the differences carefully fostered by an alien government which have divided a minority from the majority in the past. Until our arms had brought the opportune moment for the establishment of a permanent national representative of all the whole people of Ireland and elected by the suffrages of all her men and women, the provisional government, hereby constituted, will administer the civil and military affairs of the Republic in trust for the people. We place the cause of the Irish Republic under the protection of the Most High God, whose blessings we invoke upon our arms, and we pray that no one who serves that cause will dishonour it by cowardice, inhumanity or rapine. In this supreme hour, the Irish nation must by its valour and discipline, and by the readiness of its children to sacrifice themselves for the common good, prove itself worthy of the august destiny to which it is called. Signed on behalf of the provisional government, Thomas J. Clark, Sean McDermott,
Thomas McDonough, P. H. Pierce, Eamon Kant, James Conley, and Joseph Plunkett. Grammy Oga. We now have a representative of the National Graves Association to read out a prepared statement. This is the Sinn Féin Leadership Easter Statement. On this, the 93rd anniversary of the 1916 Rising, the leadership of Sinn Féin extends its solidarity to the families of our patriot dead. We remember with pride those comrades from every generation who gave their lives for the cause of Irish freedom. We extend our solidarity greetings today to those Irish Republicans in prison. We are immensely proud of our patriot dead and of their families. Last year, in the course of a series of meetings across the country, the Sinn Féin leadership engaged with the families of our patriot dead. Those engagements proved both informative and helpful. As a result, Kostya Nashinda and Tira the Patriot Dead National Committee was established. And please, we appeal to you today, anyone wishing to assist in this programme of work should make contact locally. The ideals and principles of the proclamation which Tierna just read are as relevant today as they have ever been. The realisation of those ideals and principles is among the many tasks that we must complete in the time ahead. In the coming months, our party will contest elections north and south, and there will be a referendum on the Lisbon Treaty later this year. Everyone has a role to play in the forthcoming elections, so please, please get involved now. The current economic crisis affects us all. While there is a global crisis, it has been exacerbated by flawed Irish and British government policies and mismanagement. We must reach out to join, reach out to and join with those political parties, voluntary and community organisations and trade unions that want to see real political change across the, Ar the island of Ireland. Irish unity remains Sinn Féin's primary objective. We have a strategy to achieve that objective. Others disagree, but they offer no alternative. We are right to resist those who have attacked the peace process. This includes those in the British establishment who would seek to use recent events as an excuse to rush back to the days of militarisation and the abuses that flowed from that. In Ireland today, there is an alternative to armed struggle. A small number of militarist factions oppose Sinn Féin's policies and strategy. Let us be clear, many of those are involved in criminal actions and moreover they have no political programs or strategies. There is no feasible alternative to Sinn Féin strategies for United Ireland. Our objective now must be to consolidate the peace process and maximise popular support for national and democratic objectives. Our greatest challenge in the time ahead is advancing our Republican goal of a free, independent, united Ireland. We need to build Sinn Féin everywhere. We need to make political alliances and to campaign on social and economic issues. We also need to build support internationally. We need to build the politics of republicanism and to unite Protestant, Catholic and dissenter. We believe that Irish unity can and will deliver social, economic and cultural equality for all of our people. As we celebrate the lives of our comrades and as we commemorate the sacrifices of our patriot dead, let us today recommit ourselves to the objectives of our Republican, to the achievement of our Republican objectives for which they gave their lives.